KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the TFNN 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow up 156 at 39,282. This little mini channel that you can see right here on the daily chart, that's the propellant zone. If you start to go into the 39,000 or under 39,000, that becomes a repellent zone. Watching it very closely. The weekly chart is still acting pretty well. Let's go to the S&P. The S&P is also up quite nicely. S&P is up 36 at 5248. Under the 52.64.85 uh, low of five sessions ago. <clears throat> and uh, the nine period moving average is still way above the 14. What a nice indicator that is. Looking at the QQQ, uh, the QQQ is up sharply up 3.84 at 445.96. 449.34 was the high two weeks ago. Um, let me just draw this in because this is what we call in the Chapman Wave methodology falling X formation. And if it starts to close above this trend line resistance, each left side high becomes a target that could take you to the 449.34 high, uh, all time high. Let's go to the IWM, the Russell 2000, up 213, acting quite well at 207.91. Nine period moving average is still positive in the daily. Weekly is very strong. Let's go to the gold. Gold is pulling back just a hair. It's down 3.6 at 23.11. Leg D. Uh, this is where you can start to expect at least some sideways consolidation here. Uh, a very deep uh, sell-off will have to be triggered by something uh, other than just the price itself because it's acting extremely well. The dollar has pulled back a little bit and now it's oh, it's gone a little bit high, deeper down, 27 cents, uh, 27 ticks and 103.98. Now it's under the 14 period moving average for the first time in quite a while. Let's go to bonds. Uh, bonds are up. 19.30 seconds, whew, thank goodness, because they were going lower and lower and the yields were going higher and higher. It's at 118 and 12.30 seconds. If the bonds can get to 120, 121 in the next two weeks, that's going to be a really big improvement. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is up, uh, no, it's down three ticks at 85.40. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Very interesting period we're in, right? At this particular moment with a diverse thing, because if you look at the XLP, the select um, XLP, I'll get to